Okay, this is going to be a quick little uh, training video on using ATT out and ATT in. And uh, so here we have a problem in this drawing where we have two terminals serving three drops. Um, unfortunately, it's on terminal one and two, so all the terminal numbering and port numbering has to change. So we're going to attempt to use ATT out and ATT in to fix the terminals. And the first thing I'm going to do is isolate the drawing down to just the things I need to work with. So we'll select the terminals, the terminal callouts, the fiber assignment callouts. I'll go ahead and select the FOSC and the splitter box just so I have an idea of what's going on here. So we have everything isolated down. Now I can select, before I do that, I'm going to remove the offending terminal. And we're going to take terminal one out of the design. Now I can select all of the terminal callouts in this group. Properties shows I have 11, but we used to have 12. I believe 12 was the last one. Properties shows me that I have 11 selected, which should be good. So I'll run the command ATT out. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in my terminal file. This is in the folder that I'm working in for this job. I've already done this once, so I have a file there already. That's why it's showing up. So this is CA19. Nine thirty at nine oh eight. That's today's date, so that's the right file. I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to open with Excel. So here's my results of my ATT out. I'm just double clicking on these columns to get them spread out so I can see everything within the column. So you can see we have two, three, four, or two through 12 here. Um, they get a little out of order. So we need to, two is gonna become one, so we need to decrement all of these. So let's go ahead and change these right here. Two becomes one. Three becomes two. Uh, four becomes three. Five becomes four. Eight becomes seven. Nine becomes eight. Ten becomes nine. 11 becomes 10, 6 becomes 5, 7 becomes 6, 12 becomes 11, 5 through 8 becomes 1 through 4, 2, that's the eight. Three. One through twelve. Four. Thirteen through sixteen. Seven. Maybe 25, 6, 7, 8, 8. Oops. 29, 30, 32. And 32. 
36. And that's 37 to 40. Five is 17 to 20. Six is 21. 24. And is 41 to 44. I hope I got those all right. You can um, do some sorting in here. I'm not going to do it. Um, I just more want to focus on ATT in and ATT out. Um, but you can sort uh, the whole thing and get these back in numerical order. Um, might make it easier to see. Let's call that 05. I'm just looking at them to kind of make sure that these are all right. I'm going to call that 01 through 04. Okay, so we can save this. We get the dialog here saying some features may not work. So just go ahead and say yes. Now, Excel does a funny thing um, where it'll put quotations around certain things. Uh, they're called uh, text qualifiers. Um, and we need to get rid of those because AutoCAD will import the quotations. So if we Close this. I'll just save it again just for the heck of it. And open it again. We'll open it again, but this time we're going to open it in Notepad. And you'll see that we've got quotations around this column. And this an easy fix. We just do a find and replace. We'll find the quotes, which obviously that's the last operation I did because it came up ready to do it. So we're going to find quotate the quotation and we're going to replace with nothing. We want to make sure there's nothing in this. Good idea just to hit delete to make sure there's not a space in there. Replace all quotes. So you can see those have gone away. We can do file, save, close. Now, when we do the ATT in, the command is ATT in. You select that file. Again, you want to make sure that you're doing the correct file and you're in the correct directory. Um, normally, AutoCAD is smart enough to, to show you the directory that the file that you're working on is located in. Um, good thing to check, make sure your AutoCAD is doing it correctly. So we just go, go ahead and say open, and you'll see that it changed all of these at once. Go ahead and save the file. That's it, using ATT out and ATT in to make a tedious job uh, a little bit faster and a little bit more accurate, hopefully. Um, the next thing I need to do is go and change my fiber assignments on my MS details. Unfortunately, we could use find and replace in AutoCAD to do that, but it's going to be just as easy for me just to go down each one and edit them manually. Um, that's it. I hope this helps you out.